Hey gang, in this video, I'm gonna help you pass A+. Hey gang, it's Ron from ITMasterKey.com and my job is to help each and every one of you guys get certified. So if you're not familiar, the A-plus is a two-part exam. You have to pass both of these exams to be A-plus certified. So as I recorded in this video, the A-plus is a 90-minute, 90 90-question 90 exam. If you pass both of these exams, you will be A-plus certified. So the A-plus is usually the first certification that people go after when they're thinking about getting into IT. So the A-plus is like your high school diploma when it comes to IT. If you don't have any other certification, if you don't have any other experience, this is a great certification to start off with. So if you never did one of these practice exams with me, what happens is I read the question, you try and figure out what the answer is, and then as a family, we actually discuss what the answer actually is. So this should help you with the critical and analytical thinking that's needed to pass the exam. Now let's not waste any more time, let's get straight to it. You are setting up a new user's mobile device. You're setting up the device to use the IMAP protocol. Which of the following is true about IMAP? Choose all that apply. So when setting up a mobile device to be able to receive emails, there's two different options. You either gonna have POP or you're gonna have IMAP. So the IMAP has a couple different variances from the POP protocol. So the POP protocol, one of the biggest things is that the emails are stored on a server and they're gonna stay there until you permanently delete them. Now, this question said choose all that apply. When you're actually inside of the exam, make sure that you choose all that apply. So sometimes it may say pick three, pick four, but if it says choose all that apply, make sure that you pay extra close attention to all the answers and that you choose all that apply. Blank refers to when multiple security features or services are combined into a single device within your network. Your network's users are protected with several different features, including antivirus, content filtering, email, and web filtering, anti-spam, and more. UTM stands for Unified Threat Management. So that's kind of like a one-stop service. So all you need is a UTM and it's gonna have everything that you need to stop potential threats. So it may have an IDS, an IPS, which is an intrusion detection service, or it may have an IPS, which is an intrusion prevention service. So depending on what your needs are, the Unified Threat Management is proactive. It tries to look at all the different threats and create an actual system structure to prevent whatever threats may come up. So it may be firewalls, like I said, it may be antivirus, it may be all those things in there, but if you have a UTM, it's gonna be a unified threat management. So it's kind of like everything that you need and one nice pretty package. Speaking about everything in a big pretty package, if you're looking to get A+, plus, Net+, plus, and Security+, plus, all in the next 90 days, hit the link in the description below. We got an online program called the Zero to Hero program that can do just that. You can also join a winner circle if you're looking for the certifications, plus job, plus resume, plus everything that you need to actually break into the field. Either one of those options would be a great option for you. Other than that, let's get back to the video. You are a new tech working for Master IT. You're installing a brand new printer. This printer has an imaging drum, fuser assembly, transfer belt, transfer roller, pickup rollers, separate pads, duplexing assembly. So what type of printer would have all those parts?
So a laser printer would have all those different parts. When you actually get out into the field, you're gonna to have to know which printers you're working with and which equipment that you need. So the stuff that you would use for an inkjet printer wouldn't be the same stuff that you would use for a laser printer. So you have to have the best tools to actually fit the job that you're working on. So just make sure that you do a little bit of research, figure out what's going on, just so you can actually finish and fix a problem as soon as possible. So gang, we only went over a few questions so far, right? So we talked about printers, talked about some antivirus, some security stuff. This is exactly how the actual exam is gonna be set up. It's not gonna be set up in a nice, pretty package. It's not gonna be one after the other. It's gonna be a printer question. Then it might be a networking question. Then there might be a cloud computing question. It's gonna be a bunch of different things and a bunch of different topics that's gonna to come up and it's not gonna be one after the other. So you gotta have to be very well versed in hundreds of topics. So literally there's hundreds of topics on the A+. You have to know a little bit about everything. So once again, like I said, if you're looking at this, if you're looking at this video, congratulations. You're on your way to get certified, but just make sure that you are super comfortable with troubleshooting and that you go over all the objectives that's on the exam. Jim is installing a new laser printer for an office in Montana. The company's old printer would always print faded images. What is the imaging process of a laser printer? So gang, this is a perfect example of a question that you have to read all of the answers to ensure that you pick the right answer. So a lot of times when you're actually in the exam, a lot of the answers will look the same. So just make sure that you fully decipher what the actual answer is and what the question is actually asking, right? Don't go too fast to where you're just skimming through and you're picking the first thing that sounds right. Make sure you're reading all the answers just to make sure that you're getting the right answer. So just like this, a lot of these look like they said the same. And another thing, a lot of students or a lot of people try and remember the laser printing process by looking at the first thing and the last thing. So first thing is processing, last thing is cleaning. But you have to know everything in between as well, all right? So just don't try and pinpoint, okay, if they say processing at the beginning, they say cleaning at the end, that is the answer. Because a lot of times, like I said, there'll be small little variations in the answers, and if you don't do what you need to do, you're gonna get that damn question wrong. So just make sure that you pay attention to that kind of stuff, because every point on the exam is gonna count. Before we go any further, drop in the comments below when you're actually taking the exam, and if you have been studying for the exam, how long have you been studying? All right, just drop that in the comments for me right now. Lenny has confirmed his theory. Now he is determining the next step to resolve the problem. If he hadn't confirmed his theory, he would have came up with another theory or escalated. What troubleshooting step does this describe? So gang, the CompTIA exams and CompTIA in general has troubleshooting steps, right? Not what you would do, not what you feel is right, but the actual troubleshooting steps. Every step has a name and every step has a definition or the things that would happen within that step. I'm telling you right now, you need to know the troubleshooting steps. Not only will it help you on the exam, but it'll help you in real life as well. It'll give you a beginning and an end and a process to work through every issue. So literally, if you know the troubleshooting steps, you'll be able to troubleshoot every answer on the actual exam, and then you'll actually be able to bring that into the real world and troubleshoot problems in the real world. So Lenny had tested the theory to determine what was actually wrong. So he actually tested his theory, he came up with his theory, and then he actually tested it to make sure that that was actually correct, to make sure that his theory was spot on and that he was actually going the right direction. Hey gang, I want you to do something for me really fast. If you haven't done so, like this video, share the video, and subscribe. Another thing is make sure you watch my last video to make sure that you can level up in tech. And if you aren't in tech yet, they can actually help you to 
have the steps to get into tech, all right? So, like I said at the beginning, I wanna help each one of you guys get certified and get into technology. Other than that, I'll see you in class.